I just seen the craziest shit. And the thing is, <coughs> this is your boy Devon Messenger back with another message and understand. Great Rising got the noon good night. All that shit bad shabooey. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe because we're about to get to it. And understand, this is not a joke. This is not, I'm not here to be a comedian. We are here to understand witchcraft and false prophecy. There are many people who are working for agents who are working for the other side on the fence of God and Satan so, or Almighty God and Satan. So because of that, people will persuade you to believe something that doesn't even exist, but it exists within your mind. So understand, this false prophecy is literally telling us six things we will do in heaven. Let's get into the video. At some mysterious dreamlike place, others believe it is a never-ending monotony of playing harps on clouds. No wonder why so few are motivated to be there. This video will reveal six glorious real activities. Let's stop right there. When you get into, when this body stays here within this dimension, within hell, earth, or just recycling bin, within this matrix, or simulation, this holographic illusion, there is nothing real outside of reality. Why? Because it's all a universal dream. So what is real to a, to a piece of energy? What is real to transparency when you are infinity? Nothing is real to infinity because infinity creates infinite things and in amount of processes within the brain of a physical being. So therefore, when you're leaving the physical realm, nothing is real. Why? Because it's nothing but bliss. It's nothing but your transcendence out of your ego. That the righteous will be doing in heaven. And I believe it No one is righteous and no one is unrighteous. So what is heaven? Inspire you to be there someday. There is no someday. You will get to heaven today. Watch this video. Hi, this is Dustin with Hope Through Prophecy. This channel is dedicated to helping you understand Bible prophecy. So you are... prepared for the soon return of Jesus. <sighs> Over here, if you understand titles, titles determine your enlightenment. So if you are still calling Satan Jesus, we got a long way to go. We have a long way to go. Right now, we are offering a free end times event chart. To receive this and to receive email updates, just click the link above or in the description below. The devil has done a masterful job of clouding heaven in mystery and making it seem to be an undesirable place. However, the Bible reveals the truth that heaven is a place of... The Bible reveals a contradiction. There is no truth nor a lie within the Bible. The Bible is literally just logic. It's an allegory, it's a metaphor. So you literally have to understand and contradict everything that he's about to say because he's about to spill a bunch of lies with some truth hidden inside of it. Indescribable joy and beauty full of glorious activities that will thrill your soul. Let's see what they are. Let's but see. Before we discover these six activities in heaven, we must clarify that we will have real physical bodies in heaven. How does transparency comprehend a physical body when physical bodies are nothing but a 3D man-made concept? How do you have a real body inside of a blissful state within your mind once you leave this world? How is that possible? Your ego will think that it has a real body. There are no such thing as real bodies once you leave Earth. You are literally a transparent being trying to find yourself through a vessel. But understand that is a dream. Still, it doesn't matter what you can go to the nine. You can go to the nine 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 ninth dimension in this universe, and you can try to comprehend a body. But understand, you are still having a higher dream and a higher realm of consciousness. You are not in that body. You are a spiritual being thinking that you are an extraterrestrial deity. A common. Hey tech leads, this is Monday Death, a platform to manage your entire Can't believe you were preaching this shit. I ain't come here to play around. No sir. You ain't finna lot of my people. common misconception states that we will be spirits or ghost-like beings in heaven. Just say a spiritual being. Simply is not true. The Bible reveals, for our citizenship is in heaven. From which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body that it may be conformed. 
Let's read this Bible verse that came from Satan's disciples. For our citizenship is in heaven. Heaven's a state of mind from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior. You are the Savior. Why are you waiting for a title to come save you when a title is not even going to save you? How can a title save you when a title can't even save itself? The Lord Jesus Christ. They just basically say you're waiting for Satan to come save you by calling him Lord Jesus Christ. Just say your higher self. You, you need to save yourself from your lower self and be into your higher self. That is your savior. Who will transform our lowly body, body that is that it may be confirmed to his glorious body. Meaning you will, once you reach the higher enlightenment, once you reach the higher state of mind within your mind, heaven, then you begin to embody the essence of God. So you'll be walking in your higher self to his glorious body you will notice jesus is never coming back why he never left you will have bodies like jesus and what kind of we already have bodies like satan and yashua at the exact same time just look in the mirror body does jesus have behold my hands and my feet that it is i myself handle me and see for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see i have jesus reveals that he has a real physical human body and we which is a reflection of us literally just look at your ego look in the mirror that is literally you you are jesus have the same in heaven so what things will we be doing in this physical body let's discover them now one we will eat from the tree of life revelation 2 7 we will think we are eating from a tree of life understand if you have watched spongebob let me make sure ain't nothing going on my motherfucking razzly razzly dazzly what is that on my eyebrow come on now, i'll tell you no I gotta make sure we're looking good. All right. Eat from the tree of life. First of all, understand when it comes to a dream, you're not really eating. So if you've been watching SpongeBob when planting was in the meatloaf, that's literally what you will be doing in every dimension of consciousness. When you are eating from the tree of life, you are literally eating nothing but energy. That is a reflection of you. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. The Bible tells Almighty God, not Satan more about this magnificent tree of life in the middle of its streets and on either side of the river was the tree of life which bore 12 fruits each tree yielding its fruit every month the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations we learn that this tree of life provides healing for the nations and we know from genesis that whoever eats of this tree will have eternal life we can live forever in heaven also, this tree produces a... How do you live forever in bliss? How? How do you live forever in bliss? Bliss is what you make it. So you can choose to live in heaven forever. But understand, you will always have your lower self. And people are a part of your lower self. So many people will not be in heaven forever. Why? Because it doesn't even exist. You make it exist. Make fruit for every month of the year. We can only imagine the beauty and flavor of these heavenly fruits. Not only will we live for On top of that, when you transcend, energy doesn't even eat. So did that so this whole video doesn't even make any sense. Number one doesn't even make sense. Because if you're going into a blissful state as transparency, you're not imagine being a in heaven as a highly spiritual being. You're a ascended master at that point. Or you're getting one. Or you're getting to be one. So as you're transcending your ego, you'll literally be trying to grab fruit. And it'll be, you'll hand, your hand will literally go right through the fruit. Meaning that all you'll be doing is trying to pick up yourself and eat yourself. But how, how do you desire food? How do you desire a desiring of being hungry when energy doesn't even get hungry past a blissful state called heaven or past its 3D dimension? Getting hungry is our ego's way of saying, I want to eat an illusion that we call food. That's a 3D concept. Beyond the 3D, you don't eat energy because you are it. You embody it. But there will be no more pain, death, or sin in God's eternal kingdom. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. What's more, all our physical deformities and those of our loved ones will be taken away. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as a heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing. 
for in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. Two, we will meet with friends, family, and Bible hero. Let's stop right there. I do agree with meet with friends. Even though they died physically, they never left you spiritually. So you will meet them again because they're a reflection of you. Family, they never left you physically. Well, they left you physically, but they never left you spiritually. So you will see them again on the other side. There are no such thing as Bible heroes because the heroes in the Bible are literally Satan's masqueration or a two-faced illusion of him being the villain and the hero at the exact same time. Want to know who are these false heroes or these false ideology expectancies of what heroes will be called within a villain's origin you can say david you can say samuel you can say saul saul was a hero to david and somebody thought that david or jonathan thought david was a hero to him but it's like these men both killed their own reflections they were killing and spilling the blood and sacrificing blood for the betterment of satan's good they're not heroes these are literally false they're, they're, they're fallen angels notice what the bible tells us and I say to you that many will come from the east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. That doesn't even make any sense because titles do not exist in the afterlife. So therefore you will be sitting. So what, what using this sermon, Matthew 8, 11, And I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with you, yourself, your higher self in the kingdom of heaven. Those three titles are a reflection of your higher self. They are not fucking human beings. They do not ex They never existed. They are a literally a telltale, a myth from your ego. You are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob right now. They never left you. They are a reflection of you. How amazing will this be? Imagine being able to walk through the forest with Adam. and Ad Imagine being able to walk through the forest with Atoms. Adam is literally atoms in our body, in life's body, in the almighty God's illusion called reality. And that, that monkey we see right here, that's Adam. This little tree he's hanging on, that's Adam. This green right here, that's Adam. This this title right here, we this, this right here, Adam. And how he chose the names for the different animals. Think of sitting down in front of a rainbow with Noah and discussing how it was to build the ark and make it through the great flood. I can't wait to ask Daniel what it was like in the lion's den and David. Have you been suffering from the after of a car crash? The um, I actually have not. You are still entitled to a oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and David, how it felt to battle the mighty Goliath. Oh, friends. You will be able to read. You're not going to be able to ask these biblical figures these questions. Why? Because you already know the answer to your question. So you wouldn't even be talking to them in the first place because you already know what you're going to say without even saying it. And you wouldn't even be moving your mouth because you're using telepathy to even speak to these biblical figures in the higher realm called heaven. With your precious friends and family who have been faithful. And there will be no more goodbyes. We will have eternity to spend with one another. Three. We will build magnificent mansions. Um, I agree with that, but then I don't, because you know, we got to contradict everything. First of all, you're not going to build something that was already built. Many of you may be thinking, but I don't know how to build. But in heaven, you will have an enhanced mind. And Mean, meaning right now, you will have an enhanced mind. Once you reach heaven within this timeline, you'll be able to build your own mansion or it'll already be built because you manifested it already unlimited time and resources to learn new skills the right now not in the 4d to 5d right now heaven is right now not later not tomorrow not yesterday now reveals they shall build houses and inhabit them just imagine we're already inhabiting them right now and he's these fallen angels are literally talking about the right now building your dream house with your own hands this incredible masterpiece. Will and it was crazy. People are so delusional. They'll be like, oh my God, I can imagine gold, gold mansion gates. Look at the houses he's showing you right now. This is heaven, my nigga. This is what heaven looks like in the physical form. He's literally showing you this incredible masterpiece will put even the greatest earthly mansions to shame. Because you once you get outside of your mind, no matter what mansion you're in, you're thankful for. You know what? Because what is a mansion? Mansions don't even exist spiritually. Because a, a, a halfway house could be a mansion. A trailer park could be a mansion. A fucking GameCube can be a mansion. 
Like, a dog shed can be a mansion. In the greatest earthly mansions to shame. The quality of the materials, the creativity of the layout. Hey, that was hard. Whatever pool that was, count me in. Magnificence of the views, and all custom tailored to your desires. What's more, in addition to this home we will have in the country, the Bible reveals that each of us will have a city home as well, prepared just for us by the God of the universe. There, it, it's not even prepared. It was already there. There's no need to prepare for something that's already there. Our houses are already built. Why? Because you already built them before they were even buildings. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Which is right now. I will come again, meaning he never left. He never left and receive you to myself. So once you receive your higher self, that is where I am. And there you may be also. You got to meet God up here, up here, up here, up here. Oh, friend, don't not down here. This glorious future that has been planned for you. For we will grow spectacular gardens. <laughs> You can't grow something that was already grown. You can't grow a garden that was already gardening itself. <laughs> God, bro. Why do these people get platforms and the truth doesn't even go viral? Why do lies go viral but the truth gets suppressed? My God, bro. The Bible reveals they shall plant vineyards and eat their fruits, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. And these gardens will far exceed even the most wonderful gardens on this earth. The curse will be broken. No longer will we have to deal with weeds, pests, and difficult conditions. The soil will be rich and lush. The produce will be packed with health and vitality along the bank of the river on this side and that will grow all kinds of trees used for food their leaves will not wither and their fruit will not fail they will bear fruit every month because their water flows from the sanctuary their fruit will be for food and their leaves for medicine just imagine once you are rich within your mind, you're rich within currency, you're rich within spirit, you'll be able to go to a land to where you will have purified water to where you'll be able to grow fruit from your purified water source. Thus, you will have the mansion you want in your own country. Because once you find all these things within yourself right now, currently, in the future, you'll be able to see everything he is talking about physically. In your very own produce, in your very own country mansion, all in the midst of heavenly perfection and beauty. This dream can become your reality. This dream is your reality. It ain't becoming your reality. It, ain't, it didn't became. It is your reality. Find it right now. Leave your subconscious mind to enter your higher self and your conscious mind. Five. We will explore the mysteries of the universe. This is the most accurate thing he ever fucking said. Because yes, you will be able to explore the mysteries of outer space within your temple. Have you ever wondered about other worlds that exist in distant galaxies? Or how about the mysterious depths of lakes and oceans? Heaven will be your chance to learn and explore. With unlimited time, perfect health, and supercharged brains... The possibilities for travel and learning are simply beyond our Not brains, but just ego, perception, just from a different lens, a higher lens on top of that. Imagination. On this earth, we are limited in our ability to interact with wildlife. Because our frequency is way too low and we allow our ego to hinder our growth. Because of sin, many beasts are ferocious and even deadly. But in heaven, this will not be the case. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, and dust shall be the serpent's food. They shall not hurt nor destroy 
and all my holy mountain, says the Lord. Says the polarity. Polarity says in the higher realms that entities that we know here, they won't eat each other, they won't kill each other because they will know higher consciousness because these beings are going to go there regardless. They're just here doing what they were programmed to do. So they don't got to pay bills and they just they just kill because that's what they got to do. They've been forgiven already because they already know their program. That's why they just live in bliss. So in heaven, we will be able to truly enjoy and appreciate all of God's spectacular creation, even the large and powerful creatures. Just think of racing a cheetah through the fields or wrestling with a powerful grizzly bear or even cuddling up with the mighty lion. There will be no more pain or death in God's eternal paradise, only infinite joy. Finally, I need to find the best way to live that science. How does energy hug itself it without falling through? It's like, come on, bro. You you deserve all the views, man. Because if you believe this shit, you'll believe in a two fairy, you'll believe in Santa Claus, shit, you'll even believe in Jesus. <laughs> and now you want to love, man. Finally, the most wonderful of all the activities of heaven. Six, we will be with Jesus. We will be with source. We will be with our higher self. We will be with God and Satan. We will be with polarity. We will be with our conscious mind, our subconscious mind. We will be, we will be with divine. Number six is be with divine. Only those who have learned to love and obey Jesus will be in heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so tired of motherfucking liars. I always want to fucking lie. First of all, if you obey your higher self, Yahshua, your ego, you can say Jesus, whatever the case may be. If you understand the difference between Jesus and Yahshua, you understand why they mocked Yahshua by calling him a lower projection called Jesus. Once you respect and obey and find out your higher self, your higher source, you will enter heaven within your mind. You will feel it and you will walk in heaven consciousness. They have allowed Jesus to transform their life and character. And now the greatest desires of their hearts. And what's crazy, I keep saying that because literally Satan tricked the world by calling himself Jesus and people fell for it and ran with it. Have come true. God has always desired to be with us. From the Garden of Eden to the earthly sanctuary to Jesus himself. In the flesh, when sin and sinners are finally destroyed, we will be united with the God of the universe. When sin and sinners are finally destroyed. So if sin and sinners are finally destroyed, that means the whole entire world is destroyed. So how will we be united with the God of the universe if he destroyed us? He just contradicted himself in a sentence. This nigga just said when sin and sinners are finally destroyed, that includes you and I, because we are literally born sinning. So not only that, he just said we will be united with the God. He even said almighty God. He just said Satan of the universe, meaning that when we are destroyed, we will come right back to this universe. So he just told you a lie to your face. And he's looking with a face like Satan. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. What's more, we will all... Where's the Almighty? Where's Elohim? Where's Yahshua? Where's Divine Creator? We're source. Saying to the holy city together to worship him. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one. I apologize too. I don't know why my screen looked like this. I don't know why it's laggy. Um, you know, saying like I don't know what's going on with that. Let's continue. Oh no. What are we doing? But to Here another. All flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. There we go. The amazing thing is, as inspiring as all these verses are, we cannot even imagine how wonderful heaven will truly be. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. It is beyond our wildest imagination. If you love the Almighty Creator, you will get there mentally. Once you get there mentally, that will stain your spirit. Once it stains your spirit on an energetic standpoint, on an auric stand field, or a 
etheric stand, standpoint or a cosmic standpoint, once you die, you will, you know you'll get to the heaven. That's why I'm here to guide you to the water and not make you fucking drink. Stop believing false prophets. Stop believing false ideologies. That's exactly why people just like you keep reincarnate right, keep reincarnating right back into hell by calling it heaven. Understand, in order to get to heaven, you had to escape your ego and stop believing false prophets like this. Heaven awaits you, friend. It simply would not be the same without you. You were created to live there. And Jesus has prepared a place just for you. And you know what? You still gonna mock my creator by calling him Jesus. So that is the end of this video right here. I do apologize, you know, if I offended anyone, that was not the case at all. I'm just here to guide you to the water, but not make you drink it. And what's in that water, I will give you the answer to that. What's in that water is heaven or truth in a spiritual sense. You don't have to choose to drink that. By all means, you'll be smart. But just understand, I am guiding you to the water, not making you drink. But just know when you drink it, welcome to divinity. I love you so much, Divine Reflection. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Have a great and wonderful day.